Lately, the competition on Roblox has never been higher, so us developers are going to need new tips and tricks to help us win in the fight for new players. All for those sweet, sweet Robux. First off, there's inorganic growth, which comes from things like ads and sponsors, where you're basically just throwing your game at new players in the hopes that it is a right fit for them. And this is usually less effective compared to organic growth, which is found in things like YouTubers playing your game, players searching for your game, and the most effective of all, players joining their friends. This is how games spread like wildfire. And today I'm going to be showing you a simple and effective way to amplify this growth in your Roblox game. The way that you can do this is adding an invite friends button into your game. And I'm sure most of you have heard of these before, but I'm going to be showing you how you can make them even more effective and how easily you can add them into your game right now. But first off, I have not been seeing this enough in Roblox games. They are seriously so effective and easy to add in your game. They are just so worth your time. And as you can see here, the invite is simply just a little button at the top of your screen. It will not negatively affect the quality or function of your game, and with one click, a player can spread your game, giving you that organic growth. But wait, we can make this even more effective. And I'm talking five times as effective by giving players a reward for inviting their friends into your game. This reward can be a cool item or some coins, and it can simply serve as a reminder if the button is there and make players far more likely to use it. I mean, if you have a little plus 500 coins text up at the top of your screen, it is very, very likely you're gonna click it. And so will your players. They'll invite their friends, and their friends will invite more friends, and you can see how these games spread like wildfire. Now I have to stop for a second and say Roblox sadly doesn't give us info on whether or not a player has invited their friend. However, a solution to this is just giving them the reward when they close the prop. So it's cool. And it takes absolutely no time to set up at all. In the description, I linked two models. One if you want the button with the reward, and one if you just want the button alone. Inside the model, you will see instructions on what to do. If you don't want to add a reward, it's simple. It's just ungrouping the model in starter GUI. But if you want the reward as well, you're also going to want to ungroup the script into server script service. Inside this script, you will see there's a place where you can define what reward you want to give the player. You give it the leader stat and the amount you want to add, and it's as simple as that. But if you want to add a custom reward, like an item, you can replace the code right here, and it will basically just fire this code when the invite player's prompt is closed, and as long as the player hasn't claimed a reward before. And just like that, you have a working invite friends button. With only a few minutes of your time, you've doubled the amount of players in your Roblox game, and that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you learned anything, please make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to leave a beautiful love letter in the comments below. Alright, I love you. Bye.